Yo family, just a quick one before we get into today's fire tutorial. I've just got a new camera set up, a uh, new microphone set up. Let me know in the comments, please give me your feedback. Just let me know if everything looks good, if the sound's good, quality's good. I wanna basically just make sure I bring you guys the best value possible, right? I don't wanna waffle on for too long, but if you could do that for me, that'd be super useful. Let's get into the tutorial. What's cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi Yes, aka the Jump Rope Coach. Welcome back to the home of Jump Rope Fitness and Lifestyle people. We are here at the RAHQ and I've got another fire skipping tutorial for you, right? I'm gonna get you guys flying like bosses and today is no different, all right? A lot of you have been asking me how to kind of look light on your feet, get that kind of effortless look, um, I really wanna give you guys this, this kind of couple of cool drills that I've, I've worked on throughout kind of my four or five years doing this, especially with my clients, and it works a treat, okay? Especially if you're a beginner right now and you wanna learn kind of that style of footwork that boxers have or the style of footwork that you see me doing, I want you guys to have the same look and have the same feel, okay? Now, when you're piecing together combinations and you've got all these cool new tricks that you're learning right now, the worst thing that you can do is be stuck with that heavy-footed look, right? You're just gonna look a little bit awkward, and we don't want that. We want people to see you looking like you're floating, looking like you're flying, and that's what this channel is all about, all right? Now, before we get started, of course, I have to introduce this bad boy. If you don't know it already, this is the Rush Athletic Speed Rope, also known as the money rope, the most in-demand skipping rope on the planet. Go check my links down below, order yours right now, and get started the right way, okay? Be sure to hit that subscribe button, people. I want you guys to join me on this journey. This year, I've got incredible content coming your way to make sure that you get flying the right way, okay? And if you are posting on Instagram, you're skipping videos and you tag us, you're gonna get a lot of love. I promise you're gonna repost you on our brand page, right? So look, we're gonna get straight into this video. It's not gonna be a long one, people. First things first, right? I'm gonna be treating this as a very beginner to intermediate video, and I'm expecting you guys to be up there with your skipping. You know how to kind of skip through kind of uh, the rope, as it were, just kind of maybe basic bounce. You might be able to do a little bit of a boxer step, but the key thing is here, we're gonna try and make you guys look more lighter on your feet, okay? So a lot of people I see right now getting into skipping, they're really clunky with their footwork. You know, when they just, sometimes when they're just doing a little double under, it's just, you know, you can hear the sound of my feet moving, like hitting the floor even. And anything that you do, it just, it just feels heavy, it looks heavy. And we don't want that awkward look, right? We want people to look at you straight away and know that you're a boss with your rope, okay? Before we get into the drills quickly, people, um, one caveat, right, is your rope length, right? You need to make sure that your rope length is set correctly. Now, the best way to do this is all on feel because rope length, there's no kind of set rope length for your height, um, your body type, nothing to do with that. It's to do with your technique and the style of skipping that you're looking to achieve right now. If you look at someone like Mayweather, Short guy, his rope is super long. It's probably longer than my rope, right? Now I'm six foot one, six foot two nearly, about 186 centimeters. And this is where my rope comes up to. This is where the kind of rope finishes at the handles, as it were, or starts at the handles below my pecs, all right? When you're a beginner, you're most likely probably gonna keep your rope too long. And I want you guys to start using knots when you start to either trim the rope a little bit, not too much, but knots are the way forward, I promise you. It's the way that you're gonna get really good feel, really good feedback with your rope and it's easier to size and just kind of tinker with it, right? We want your rope to literally clip the ground super light. Now, if you can hear it on the microphone, hopefully, it's barely clipping. You don't want big clips smashing out in front of you. You're gonna damage your ropes. You're not gonna get that, again, light look as though you're floating, okay? So check your rope length. As I said before, it's to do with your technique. So where your arms go determines how long your rope should be. I just want you to focus on making sure the rope is just slightly clipping the floor. At least then we've started off the right way. And then when you start to improve or change your form, you can then tinker with it, like I said, because you're using knots. Right, first drill, okay? What I want you to do is skip on one leg, all right? So this is what I'm doing now, skip on one leg, just take it nice and easy. And what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna start to change legs, all right? So he's gonna do maybe three or four on one leg, change. What you want to feel like is your heels never touch the floor, right? Always on the balls of your feet and you're skipping right at the last second as you're jumping at the last second. So the rope is so close to your toe before you even take off, all right? Next thing is you want to try and stay in the same position. Take the rope around or bring it around 
really slow, right? Then you can start to kind of get quicker. And then the leg that's kind of up, you can change this drill up now, okay? What I want you to do is start to touch this on the floor, out in front of you, back to the middle, raise it up and down. Don't forget your breathing. And just lightly touch it here, just like that. What this drill does, peeps, is one, it conditions your legs. It makes sure that you can actually skip on one leg, builds up your calves, the muscles around your knees, strengthens those joints. It also improves the balance, right? Now, if you're here and you're like here, jumping around to the side, you're not engaging your core enough and you're not at the right skill set. So you shouldn't really be practicing loads and loads of like cool new advanced tricks, okay? Now, it's, it's so fun. Skipping's so fun and I want you guys to express yourself. I want you to feel like you can learn like, like a thousand things like in the first week. But if you focus more of your time and attention on these smaller aspects, right? And I just give yourself like five or 10 minutes of just practicing these drills, you're gonna become a better skipper over time, right? This, back in the day when I used to do this, right? I used to literally spend half an hour, 45 minutes, just one leg here, skipping on another leg, just changing legs, trying so many different ways of just building up my balance. And that's the, that's the next point to come to. This allows you to build balance as well as strength and build up the muscles, right? As you deep, kind of you inhale deeply, exhale so you can build up the endurance, but you just want to be staying in the same spot. This is what's just going to improve your overall control, right? I see so many skippers out there these days, right? So many people post on social media, it is amazing. The one thing that I would say where I can spot a beginner is because every time they do moves, they're just not balanced. They're just moving around the place. It doesn't look like they're in control. So these are the drills that they might have missed here and there, okay? So that's the first drill. One leg, and then with the other leg, you're just gonna to touch out in front of you. Then you can start to get a bit better with it and you can start to move that one leg, right? That's just touching the floor, right? You're taking all the weight off the jumping leg. You just really wanna have that kind of floating leg doing all kinds of things. So touch it in front of you, touch it to the side, go all the way around your body, to the back, to the front. And right now, as I focus my eye line, I'm focusing right down the middle at the top of this kind of money rope sign here, the M. And I'm trying to not to move side to side. As I do the other leg, it's the same, just touch, touch, touch to the side. And you really want to just kind of build on your weaker side, strong side, whatever it is, just keep doing that. Um, I would say for the first five, 10 minutes of all your jump rope, like kind of training sessions when you're building this light feeling, right? Now, the reason why it ties into what we're trying to do here is because I want you to have that feeling that you can, one, jump at right, literally at the right second, right, the right split second, as it were, as the rope comes, so you get a lot of good feeling, good timing. Also, you don't jump that high. When you're skipping on one leg, it's impossible to be heavy. And if you are heavy, you're just gonna trip. So if you're heavy, it's gonna look like this at first, and you're just gonna know that you don't have the endurance right now or the conditioning to do this drill. That's why you gotta practice it. So you're just here. Just be gentle with your revolutions. Then you can start to increase the speed. Then you can start to kind of mix it up and build in that strength and balance, all right? This then ties into the second drill, right, piece. Second drill, you basically have to get into a boxer sort of stance, okay? I'm an orthodox kind of, I guess, boxer. So I'll jab with my left and throw, throw the heavy punch with the right, as it were. So what you do is you have the left foot forward, right foot back. Similarly, if you're kind of like a southpaw boxer, you'd have the opposite way around, okay? But anyway, it works with both sides. So what you want to do is you want to feel like, just like the boxers do, you're rocking between the forward, forward leg and the back leg. Now, as you start doing this, right, I do it sort of side on. As you start doing this, you start to realize that you're, you're shifting weight forward and back, forward and back. So one leg at some point will take more of the force of your body and then you rock back onto the other leg. What we're trying to do again is we're building the idea that we're always on the balls of our feet. And when we are taking the pressure forward, that, that the pressure here, the back foot, comes off, almost off the floor, but you're still touching it with your toes, all right? Now, we're gonna try this drill where we're gonna skip in this position, right? And it's gonna look something like this. So you're gonna take it slow, and I'm in this kind of side, side open stance, okay? So it's not easy to get this right at first, but you'll get it. And what you're just trying to do is, you're trying to go 
forward and back, forward and back. As you do this drill now, you'll start to realize what I mean by keeping light on your feet. Because if you're heavy footed again, again, if you're like this, you'll trip, okay? So keep the form tight, side on. So I feel like my chest is kind of facing 45 degrees, I guess, to the right. And then switch foot or switch stance. So now the right foot comes in front. And we're just literally side on. We're just literally doing this. Jumping right at the last second and then back. This is such a good drill. I can't stress it enough, people. Not enough times have I told you guys, anyone, the low G followers, I haven't said it enough times, I'm sure, but footwork is king. And if you can sort of get in this kind of mode of just practicing these, practicing these light movements, these quick jumps, these small shifts in weight, it's gonna go a long, long way for sort of the rest of the sort of style that you bring into your skipping game, all right? You really wanna master this, okay? So when you start to put it together, get that light looking feeling, you're just out here. You know, you can just start to manipulate the rope how you want. Go into this little boxing little stance. When you've actually nailed that boxer stance, right, in this kind of form, all you literally need to do is bring both legs together in the same sort of line and continue that same movement, shifting that weight left and right. And then what do you have? You have the ideal looking boxer step, which just looks like this. So let's just take this for a whirl. And as you're transitioning out of cool moves, the feet are just always moving, light jumps, and it feels super, super easy. One more point, I almost forgot before I do my outro, right? When you're doing this, right, people, when you're doing your skipping or when you're just kind of having fun with your rope, right? I want you to feel like, you, when it comes to your breathing, I mentioned it before so many times, when you're doing those deep inhales, okay? Chest out, you want to feel like the weight is kind of rising up through your body. You really want a nice posture. You don't want to be just kind of slunched over here. It's going to feel all the way down into your body. You're going to feel heavy. I want you to feel like your posture, nice, upright, big, big, deep breaths. And when you're doing it like this, okay, you just feel, it just feels, for me anyway, when I'm skipping, it just feels like the gravity is so light um, from down here. Like it just, it feels like the weight is coming up. That's kind of the feeling that I get. And it kind of transfers into things like your double unders, you know, you can make it look easy because you feel that weight coming off your feet. Just having a bit of fun now, to be fair. Um, you just feel that weight lifted, as it were, right? And that's what's gonna help you get that, again, light feeling, that light movement, that lightness on your feet. And you're gonna have those really cool boxer vibes, um, make things look really seamless, connect uh, moves, combinations, transitions, and it's all gonna piece together really, really nicely. Right fam, so that about wraps up today's video. I enjoyed creating this one. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, please give this one a big, big, big thumbs up as usual, man. That'd be super useful for me. Drop a comment down below as well. Let me know how you guys are getting on and what you like to see going forward. Remember, if you're new, you have to hit that subscribe button, man. You just have to join us, man. I'm telling you, we've got such a sick community right now on social media and it's growing. And I wanna see you guys. I wanna see your skills. So keep sharing, keep posting, keep doing what you're doing. If you're out there uh, and, you're, and you're not into the social media thing, just keep flying boss, man. I promise you um, that is just my, my main goal and mission in life right now, just to keep you guys fit and healthy and making yourself look slick as well in the, in the process, right? So again, check my gear online, get what you need to get, man. I'll get you guys hooked up and I'll see you in that next video as always. So take care of yourself, skip the treadmill, stay safe. Peace. Was the knight in shining armor in your movie? Put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now